Now, prior to the official start of round three, they had to cut the tournament field down to 64. The problem was, after the first two rounds of stroke play, eight players were tied for the final seven spots. BCSN's Claire Dow was out at Inverness this morning for the rainy playoff on the 10th hole. Obviously, rain has impacted the first two days, although we're very fortunate. We're still on schedule. We have three weather delays uh, on Monday and Tuesday. And then uh, this morning, the rain's supposed to pass shortly, and match play has begun. At 7 o'clock this morning, two groups of four teed off with the hopes of staying alive in the 72nd U.S. Junior Amateur. The terms were pretty simple. Play the 10th hole, and the player with the highest score is eliminated. This morning's playoff was awesome. It was a lot of fun. Obviously, it was 8 for 7. Um, I figured par would get in, so that was my goal going in. And then from there, just have confidence in yourself and um, just play the hole for how it is. Sean Curran led the way, birdieing the par four thanks to sinking this 20-foot putt. It definitely felt good when it went in. Um, there was a birdie, which was nice to get. And um, I played my back nine yesterday pretty well, so I think I've played my last 10 three under, so I'm just excited to get out there and play. The seven remaining golfers were added into the round of 64 for the head-to-head -head format. I mean, this is my first USGA event, so having to come in and and have to get into a playoff just to make match play, it was, I mean, especially having to sleep on that. That was a lot of nerves coming into the day, and I was just trying to hit the fairway, hit the green. I knew with this many people and that many spots available, that par was going to get in, so I just tried to make par however I could. And, I mean, I was one of the last people to finish yesterday, so I mean, I didn't get off the course until about 8.30, and it was kind of just, let's go eat and go to bed. I mean, I tossed and turned all night, but having to get up at, you know, 5 in the morning was, was tough, but with all the adrenaline and everything going on, it was, it definitely had me going. I wasn't, I mean, any tired or anything like that. It's definitely been a roller coaster this week, but I, I knew it would be, and, uh, just kind of limit the bad stuff and whenever you get up, I mean, this course is so hard. Whenever you get opportunities, you have to capitalize. At Inverness, Claire Dow, BCSN.